Hey everyone, uh, this is a review that I've actually wanted to do for the past two weeks, but I'm finally getting around to do it. Uh, one of my favorite animated shorts of the past decade has been The Dam Keeper, uh, which if I find a leak, I'll put it in the description. I love how this, uh, this short really makes a beautiful use of like uh, finding a new way to do CGI. Uh, a lot of this looks like a beautiful painting, but it's actually done mainly in computer. And they just like found a way to like really make uh, the the coloring and the lighting look like brush strokes of paint. And I I, I love that in particular. But I also love that like uh, all these characters are made out of like kind of simple designs, but like so endearing. And that in the original short, it just like hits you right here. And the dark elements are like pretty dark and gloomy and stuff like that. And uh I, I particularly love the whole pacing of it. These were done by uh former employees of Pixar that went on and did and made their own company, Tonko House. Uh I I really love uh this short, but I also love that uh in the past few years, they've actually uh, continued the story in graphic novel form, and I got all three books uh, out on uh, Amazon. And the first one is just called Dam Keeper, like in the original story. It continues on where the original left off. Then the second book is World Without Darkness, where they explore the world uh, past their little town and dis and discover the little <clears throat> excuse me towns and villages that are past the dam. Uh, and the third one is called Return from the Shadows. Uh, what I love about uh, these all three books is that they act like a live-action sequel. Not a live-action sequel, but a feature film sequel uh, after the original short. Uh, it broadens up the world. You get to s discover new things about the characters. And particularly what I love about the very first book is that like right in the middle of it, where everything is just so building... They throw, like, the rug right out of from under you. They almost destroy the whole thing. It reminds me of, like, uh, those 80 fantasy movies where, like, all of a sudden they'll just be uh, cutesy and friendly. And then all of a sudden, shoo, all the violence and stuff comes comes through. And it's not that dark. It's not that violent. But it is, like, something that you never expected. Like, the whole... The main character's whole world apparently gets destroyed. But he didn't have, like, a whole big world. That's like, his whole world is destroyed where, like... He now has to go out and venture and has a duty to, like, find out how to get back back to his town before the, the bad stuff happens again. And I love how each book really builds up on uh, these oddball characters that you honestly connect with, but they're just out there with their quirks and stuff like that. They got, like, this lizard character that they don't realize until, like, later on that he's blind. But he also talks about his family. You gotta meet my family. You are my family and stuff like that. And then again, they they almost learn like a completely different side about like uh, his wife and him have like uh, gathered all these kids that have no home, and they say like, "You're my family. They are my family," and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and I love the the little twists. Like it's not particularly uh, Tim Burton or like a uh, Terry Gilliam were like all of a sudden you just suddenly get into like this shocking like attitude. It's almost like all of a sudden they just point out a little quirk that it's like yeesh and make that make you think like that. I love the main character Pig really grows in this. I like that uh, the Fox character also becomes a little complex. She's because she's also a friend with like the bully of Pig. Like uh, wasn't that much. Uh, the one from, like, the short, but it's, like, this new bully that ultimately has to grow up a little more and discover, like, his flaws and everything like that. But I definitely love this book series because the short was so good and these books definitely lived up to all that build-up. And I kind of like... Uh, originally, the producers and directors apparently were going to do, like, a live-action... Not a live-action... I keep saying live-action. A feature film. I blame the Disney remakes for that. I'm going to go ahead and say that out loud. Uh, they were originally going to do it as a feature, but apparently they did this. I think they said they want to do another feature film that will build up from where these books left off, which is cool to me. I, I love this uh, particular 
uh, world they created. I would love to see more of from them. But definitely check out uh, the Dam Keeper first, and it will like tell you whether you want to continue and try out the graphic novels. So that's my thoughts on uh, these books. Definitely great, beautifully done, uh, well, very well written, uh, in a way that makes it builder from like how simple it is. So that's my thoughts. Check out the short. Check out the books if you want later on. Uh, very good.